Hey right guys, Dredge Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 21 of New Girl Season 2. Last episode, Nick's dad actually passed away. Rip, very sad moment, but we just kind of made it better, made it bearable, and it was interesting to see Nick have to be the responsible one in his family. I mean, kind of. <laughs> uh, he didn't really handle it too well, but it, it was it was interesting to see his family, that's for sure, to say the least. But episode 21, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to New Girl, as well as every other show that I do, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one in the comments down below where they will be quite a few episodes into season three by the time this one's on YouTube, so yeah, feel free to come and join over if you want. But for now, episode 21, let's do this. What's going on? I feel like someone's about to be attacked. Oh, they got one charger. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? That charger belongs to all of us. Uh, oh, really? Because of what? One charger. We've all been there. Charger stays in a neutral room. Why do we only have one charger anyway? Oh, that is a good point. Closer together. Hey, look, another charger. <laughs> <laughs> Could have worked, maybe. Yeah, that was a great, to be honest. Yes. I don't know why I do this. The charger doesn't even fit on my phone. I have like six charges. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> I just do this for fun. <laughs> well, yeah, well, at least we're getting ahead of that. Do you want to kiss? Again? Well, here we are by ourselves. <laughs> what should we do? Mm. Uh, definitely not make out. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> we just got that out of the way, I guess. Your hands on my boob. It is yeah. definitely there. Because I know that it's weird. I'm calling it out. Does it make mm. it less weird? People I think don't. it makes it so less you're not weird. A boob guy. That's the most underrated part of the boob. It's what I've always said. I respect that. I respect that. We are roommates. We have made out a couple times and mm. are attracted to each other mm. and really good friends. Yeah. And sometimes genuinely kind of hate each other. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> touch each other's boobs. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's happening. A little bit uh, better, a little bit worse. Yeah. That was a scene. I'm sorry, Rachel and Ross don't even have that much chemistry. They just do not. No, they're. I know I've, I've said it the past five apps, but it's kind of off the charts a little bit. Always going to be weird, and I have to stop expecting for it to change. What? You realize your hand is still on your boob, right? I can't explain it. It's. She's feeling pat patriotic. Are you me down? I mean, the sexual tension. Oh, let's go. <laughs> he's back. Oh, we got a he's a recurring side character. I love that. Caked in mud. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're always there when I need you. He really is. Tran, the best character. I got to start doing things, Tran. Making moves. Grown up moves. I don't know. I want things. I want to, like, mow a lawn. You know? <laughs> mow a lawn. Okay. You don't even have a lawn. What's my move with Jess? What would you do? Of course you would, you dirty dog. <laughs> oh. What would you do if you were me? Nothing. A date? What if that's not what she wants? And they've got pretzels now. <laughs> the homeless guy just sleeping up there. You are a beautiful woman. Mm. And that could work. My life has not been the same since I met you. Wow. And it would mean the world to me if you would uh, go on a date with me. It's pretty good. He's not going to go like that, though, is it? <laughs> Jess. Oh, God. Okay. okay. Dirty J. Dr. Day, my toilet sister. If so, food. What? I don't... Oh, God. I'm going to get dressed now. Nick, it could have right gone better. But first, Schmidt, I have a favor. It's about my clothes. Burn them. Burn them all. It's <laughs> a fair response. You know, there's a lot of women who sleep with you, and I can't figure out why, so maybe it's about clothes, and maybe... Are you asking me if I'll help you pick out clothing so you could seduce a woman? You know I'm he's going to love that. It's only all I've been wanting for the yep. past ten years, Nick. Come on, that is right up, Schmidt, Sammy. Now, if somebody asks you who you're wearing tonight, what do you say? I don't want to do, do that. Do it, bro. I don't want to do that. Do it. I'm wearing Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. And Netscape by Winston. Uh, oh, okay. You want to hide about yourself on tonight's date, Definitely, okay? Yeah. That you're cheap, you're a heavy drinker, mm. you're broke, and you have a problem with anger. I mean, she knows all of this anyway, so we don't need to worry. Yeah. Oh, what's her name? It's, yeah. uh, yeah, it's, uh, 
Her name is uh, obviously Yolanda. Obviously. Uh, her last name is Winston. <laughs> Yolanda Winston. Yolanda Winston. Schmidt, that's a fake name. But why would he lie about... Oh, my God. It's Nick is Jess. a male escort. Okay. Well... Probably not a Jess, man. Yeah. People go with what Schmidt said. What if Nick decides he's going to leave us? Well, you know what we have to do, right? We're going to try to sabotage and kill her with his knife. What? <laughs> No. Or we do your thing. How about we don't do either of those and let them get on with it? Winston just goes to the extreme. I love it. There we go. I'm wearing Schmidt. You were, you're wearing what? I'm wearing Schmidt. Uh, oh, that was kind of cute. <laughs> He's putting effort for Nick standards. Come on, I got a reservation. Come on. No. What? No. Hi there, sir. No. Uh, you, they're right up for jaywalking. Stay calm. Make tiny oh, fists that, with your toes. That's the really thing in America, is isn't it? Upset. This man is merely doing his job. You were right. I was wrong. You go, Thank sir. you, officer. Three hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. They raised it. Last no. Year, I think. No. Is that real? How much do you actually have to pay for do? For... Bro, America is a place. What an establishment. It's my favorite in the city. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep it coming. Hey, Nick, can I ask you a question? Is this a date? Yes, yes it is. Well, I'm just asking you if this is a date. Yes, Nick, say yes right now. Do it. Do it. What do you mean, is this a date? I'm just I'm asking yes. you if this is a date. Do it. Nick. It seems like a date. Nick. You've been thinking it's a date this whole time. No, 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 so we shoot that bear full of hep C and then we release that bear in the restaurant right when they order dessert. Listen, you're terrible at pranks. I get that. You don't think just a bear yeah. alone in the restaurant? Yeah, that comes a lot. You know who would know what to do? Yeah, I do know who would know what to do. Nick. You can't call him, right? Call him on how to sabotage his own date. Everybody loves bacon, Jess. New topic. <laughs> you know, um, <sighs> this were a date. It wasn't Jess. But I mean, if it were. It wasn't a and it's probably good because your ex-boyfriend oh, just God. walked into the restaurant. No. Oh, the only man we both loved. Russell. Hey. Hi. Hi. He's back. Things happen. Because I so was never back. told it was happening. So if a happening happens and you don't know that it happened, did it happen? You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm Brandy. Okay. <laughs> no one could. Oh. Yeah, please. Goodbye, Brandy. Can we just forget about this date or not date and just say it's a date mate please start God. over and go get a drink at the bars friends drinking to forget it's my sweet spot <laughs> <laughs> let's do that okay that was horrible oh it could have been so good you drink with friends i am Jeff. yes let's do this <laughs> no no god no i think we're doing too much brainstorming and not enough good old-fashioned remembering <laughs> They're still planning this out. Be old preacher, teacher, this is about something Sol Goodman would do. I've had enough of crying. I will be the one. It's Winston trying not to laugh. He's <laughs> trying not to cry. Outside Dave. Outside Dave. <laughs> 25 minutes of TV time and two home cooked sandwiches. One. Home cooked sandwich. That's some negotiating right there. Just up at home here on the couch, and I'll get started on the sandwich. To the laboratory! What? I. <laughs> Two urinals? I'm rich! Oh, what have you done? <laughs> They're gonna be done by the time they even get anything planned out, watch. Will you help me open this jar? <laughs> Yes. Open the jar. How do you she does the ask Nick for a lot of That's just time. me suffering through life. <laughs> you have to stop because it's ridiculously hot. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Hard for me to deal with because it's too hot. Nick. Oh my god, bro. And I was just literally flirting. That's literally all you two are doing. That's You're a like, turn on. Might as well be in like a, like a hose spraying you down. You are out of Aww. your mind. <laughs> Oh god, please! I can't go with this. Like a... Like a date? <laughs> yes, Jess, say yes. Oh my god, it was all down to Jess. Who'd have thought it? Nick couldn't do anything. Let's do it! Yes! No, don't cross... You... Okay. 
Come on, guys. What do they do now? Like a grand over a grand? You keep buying my drinks, I'll put out no matter what you say. <laughs> I guess the good ones are. He's still on so good. Day. Okay. Well. How many have we had? <laughs> you two are. Daily something. Oh, salt. Salty. I mean, fair enough, he did drop the bag with Jess. Even though he didn't really, he kind of did a little bit. Yeah, this may come as a shock. Go on. But I have no opinion about you two. Did you ballet? <laughs> God, that's classy. Ooh, you know he what? He doesn't have an opinion? What? In this day and age? I think you guys don't really know what you are to each other. Well, you're right. No, you're wrong. Russell. Yeah. Don't, let's not listen to Russell, because we're going to start ruining things. Go away. Go back to your date. Write down what you think this is. Is this a relationship? A one night stand? Above the waist only? No wrong answer. It's dating. Just write dating. That's all it is. Don't overthink it. It's date. D. A. T. E. Just put. There it is. Okay. Figured it out. Why would you ever give your card to someone else? Okay. Where well, you just have to stand there waiting for the car to arrive. You, you know what? This wasn't such a good idea. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Russell, Russell, hey, 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 hey,
here's my worry. Here's my worry. And I feel like I know the show's going to do this anyway. But uh, here's my worry. They're going to have a moment where they're like, we shouldn't be doing this. Let's stay friends. Boom. Like every sitcom ever. You know what? Kind of spoilers for The Office a little bit. So skip ahead 30 seconds if you don't spoilers for the, the US Office. But I respect The Office so much that when Jim and Pam started to get together, it was that was it. Like, yeah, you had the building up to it part, and they did that well. But once they had made it clear for their feelings for each other, there wasn't like any, oh, no, we can't. Like, you know, they get into it a little bit, but then pull out, kind of like, okay, now... And yeah, granted, the later seasons of The Office, you don't feel the Jim and Pam as much as you do in like the middle part of The Office. But that's fine. That's fine. There was other relationships to get invested in. That's okay. I feel like with this show, they're going to get to the end of season two, and Nick and Jess are going to just have like a bit of a moment where they're like, okay, we're not going to continue with this, and then we're going to have to wait until season... There's seven seasons, so let's go with season seven for there to be anything between them. I will be so sad if that is the case, because they're it depends. I'm, I'm judging too early on. We don't know what's going to happen. But fingers crossed, please. Yeah. This would have been an 8 out of 10. Schmidt and Winston were okay. And then, as the comments said there, Winston's flashbacks. That that scene of the guy like dancing at the table was just that. Uh, yeah. Not, not my kind of comedy, I guess you could say. Um, and then the flashback of, again, every time it flashes back to Schmidt in the fat suit, it's just not funny. It is unfortunate. So this person gave it a five out of ten. I don't think it was that bad. I'll give it a seven point five. Nick and Jess were amazing. Schmidt and Winston were okay. So it's hard one. This this had the potential to be an eight, and I felt like this episode should have been an eight out of ten. If you just, I'd rather they had this though than Schmidt and Winston actually getting to the date between Nick and Jess and ruining ruining it for them because I would have just put me off their carriage a little bit because I, I actually want Jess and Nick to go forward so yeah alright thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments if you do on the early and uncuts then Patreon will be linked down below fun facts as well fun fact this episode aired I think on the date I started the channel it was, it was a couple of days before I started the channel so not quite but it's very close which is coming up to 10 years so april 5th 2013 is when this episode aired that's around i think a few days before i started the channel so yeah there you go all right until next time take care peace